What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we have got a special, special treat for you. We have the new Extreme Subcompact Series DeWalt Hacksaw uh, M12, or well not M12, but 12 volt with the three amp hour battery that this kit comes with. Then I don't have a three amp hour for the Milwaukee, so we're using a 4.0, but uh, fuel, head-to-head -head battle. Let's see what is going to come out on top. What do you think? Comment down below right now before we jump into this video and uh, let's get into it. All right guys, so we're going to do head-to-head. -head. We've got Jeff here. He's going to help us out on this. We have five pound weights each. Then we're going to strap on the ends of these around the loop part here to pull them down to where all we're doing is strictly pulling the trigger. Now, the DeWalt puts out 2,800 strokes per minute. I don't know if that's not under load or not. Uh, the Milwaukee claims 3,000 strokes per minute, not under a load. So uh, we're going to see. Both are 5 8 inch stroke. Uh, we've got 11 inches on the Milwaukee, 12 inches tool only on the DeWalt. Uh, both are right at three pounds. We've got 3.02 is what they claim, 3.2 uh, on this one. So two ounce difference, uh, not even right at two ounces if you wanted to be technical about it. So uh, close to the same batteries. We've got the three amp that comes with the kit of the DeWalt. I don't have a three amp. I don't even know if they make a, I don't think they make a three amp for the M12, but we've got the 4.0. Uh, so we're not going crazy. I didn't throw a 6.0 on it. We got Diablo by metal wood blades for both of these brand new. Uh, so we're going to make some cuts through wood and then we're going to put some 16 penny nails in and some screws and we're going to cut some of that stuff and then we're going to give you our thoughts and opinions on these uh comment down below which one do you think as of right now from what you know 2800 strokes per minute 3000 strokes per minute what, what's your thoughts let's show you how easy it is for these blades to be installed all you do is twist the lock on this one put the blade in very easy the DeWalt is the same way it's toolless uh, as well but it has this sticking out part that makes it honestly a little easier to load your blades all right so we're gonna get our gloves on our safety glasses on here and we're just gonna make some quick cuts uh, straight down through these <coughs> studs <coughs> and see which one cuts the quickest. And we're gonna do this a couple different times just to, you know, get the real, you know, hey, feel for it. So we both got five pound weights on. Uh, battery initiated. Safety glasses on. <clears throat> Safety's off. And uh, so I say we just, uh, we're just going one handed guys and count of three we will pull the trigger and see which one goes so you ready yep one two three So uh, we'll go one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right. 
definitely a difference. There is definitely a difference. <clears throat> All right, let's take the weights off and let's do it uh, without weights and us pressing down. All right, one, two, three, go. There's no doubt, it is, yeah. it is faster. Um, now, could it have to do with the, with the battery difference? I mean, I really don't think going from a three to a, a four would make that much of a difference. But let's see, uh, let's get some screws and nails in this stuff and see what happens with that. We've got five 16 penny nails that we're going to slice and dice through and see how well it works. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. No, that was close. That was close. I think mine was a little faster. That was close. All right, well, we're gonna go through the other four. You ready? You can just do all four in a row? All four in a row. All just right. One right after that. Okay. So, one, two, three, go. Really? Uh, what's your battery level at? So after all that, I still got two two bars. Uh, if you pull the trigger um, and look at the side, so you you still got three bars. Which this only has three bars. That one has four. So uh, it actually it actually is full still. So uh, yeah, I'm still full still. Um, and he's lost one bar on a 4.0. All right, boys, we got treated two by four instead of just a, an actual stud for a house we're going to go to treated and uh, we're going to see what these do on treated so, so uh you call it and y'all watch me win okay on go one two three go Is there a knot there? Oh, there is a knot yeah. right here. Right yeah, here. there's one that back here. Let's uh, put these bad boys, let's take this down here, get cleaned up, and we will come back and tell you opinions and uh, see, what, see what you think. It's pretty much going to come down to, uh, put that one on one. All right, guys, so it's pretty much going to come down to price. Uh, both of these have proven that they're both great in their own ways. Uh, now, this one, honestly, to me, feels better in the hands. I'm not going to lie. I really like the uh, chuck that they have here to the toolless, you know, uh, blade change because they've got a little notch that sticks out to where the Milwaukee... Uh, is just a twist. They don't have a notch or anything, but both are very easy toolless changes. Uh, warranty on these, I mean, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, don't forget, we're gonna talk about price, but warranty on these, you're gonna get DeWalt's three year limited warranty, 90 day money back guarantee on theirs. Uh, Milwaukee comes with a five year warranty. Uh, kit, you're going to get a four amp hour battery with the Milwaukee along with a charger and bag uh, for 179. The DeWalt, you're going to get the bag, charger, two blades, uh, a three amp hour battery, and it's 169. So uh, if you go bare tool, tool only, you've already got batteries, you don't need anything but the tool. Uh, the tool is 149 for the Milwaukee, 139 is what we found on the extreme here. Let's uh, show you that here. So we've got the DeWalt um, at Home Depot is 149. 
Now the Milwaukee fuel for the kit, of course, uh, we'll go to the tool only here, 149 for the tool only. The kit, uh, you're going to get the one battery charger and a bag and then the DeWalt kit, you're looking tool nut, this is through tool nut, you're looking at 179 and it comes with the three amp hour battery, a regular charger, uh, and then you're gonna get the bag and two blades as well. So, you know, uh, the, the kit for that, we found at Lowe's, uh, tool only for 139, and then we found, you know, three year warranty, one year service free, 90 day money back guarantee for the DeWalt, uh, five year limited warranty for the tool on the Milwaukee, I guess comment down below, let me know, you know, for a $10 difference, I mean, if you're running Milwaukee, hey, can't go wrong with a Milwaukee. If uh, you're running DeWalt, can't go wrong with the DeWalt. Uh, I will say personal preference to me, um, even with a battery in this, now these are locked, so uh, even with a battery in this, Even with a battery, the, the DeWalt to me feels better in the hands, uh, just because it's it's smaller. Uh, if you look, I don't know if y'all can tell this or not, but this is this gets bulky here, uh, where this battery goes in, and this one does not. So uh, you know, if you look at them, they're they're close, but I mean, fill them both. Let me know what your preference is. Yeah. Uh, my personal preference is I personally think the DeWalt feels better in the hands. It does. Um, and I find that, you know. <clears throat> and if you put them on the side and compare the height, it's not as subcompact as the, the wall either. Right, you know, yeah, it, it is a little bit, yeah, a little bit taller here. Um, yeah, I mean, literally, it's, it's that's where it's taller at. Yeah. Uh, you put them together, I mean, that's, that's an inch difference uh, right there, at least. Yeah. But everything else is pretty, pretty much the same. Back in the handle, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, hey, this is this is all about personal preference is what it is. They both cut real well. As you can tell, the Milwaukee did cut a little faster, but we got to take into consideration that it does say it does up to 3,000 strokes uh, compared to the 2800. So if it's really doing 3,000, that's 200 more strokes. I would expect it to honestly cut uh, a little faster than, than the DeWalt did. So uh, let me know down below, guys, which one do you think you're going to buy if you don't have either one of these and you're starting to look into buying uh, tools. I'm, I love the Milwaukee just because it cuts faster, but for me personally, I don't have any reason to have anything that's going to cut that fast. Uh, so, you know, we, we're just pushing the extremes here, but the DeWalt does feel way better in the hands to me. It feels more comfortable, like it. Uh, yeah. honestly. It really does feel more comfortable because it does not have, if y'all can tell, man, uh, that bulk right here. It, it's slow and then right here it gets bulky. Um, and that bulk just feels weird in the hands. It, it don't feel as comfortable as the DeWalt does in the hands by any means. So uh, price, there's your price, there's your, uh, there's your review on this. I mean, we, I don't know what else we could have done with them, honestly. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's something out there we could have done with them uh, in y'all's eyes, but you know, hey, that's that's what we did. We, we cut wood with it, we cut through nails with it, pretty much the things that people are gonna use these for, and you know, they're gonna do the job by all means. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review, hope you enjoyed this period because uh, you know, we put a lot of time and effort into this stuff right here and that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or uh, questions, I should say, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and at least let me know why. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> we will see you in the next one.